Screw pin shackles are not recommended for permanent or long-term installations. Screw pin shackles can be used in applications where side loading is present, and with multi-leg sling assemblies. However, reduction to the WLL must be accounted for when used in a side loading situation. Be aware that a live line, such as a sling being used in a choker hitch configuration, can cause the screw pin to be rotated, torqued or twisted which can cause the pin to unthread itself. Always tighten the pin prior to each lift. To avoid the pin from rotating or loosening due to vibration, mousing can be used as a secondary method of securement. Loop annealed iron wire through the hole in the collar of the pin and around the adjacent leg of the shackle, securely twisting both ends together. When using a screw pin shackle, the screw pin thread shall be fully engaged, tight, and the shoulder should be in contact with the shackle body. Bolt Type Shackle A bolt type shackle is a more secure version used in rigging that features the combination of a bolt and nut located alongside a cotter pin. Bolt type shackles can be used in any application that uses a round pin or a screw pin. 
These types of shackles remain secure even when the shackle is subjected to rotation or torque. Bolt type shackles are practical in many rigging applications where the anchor bolt is expected to experience some rotation. The tightening nut and the cotter pin eliminate the need to tighten the pin prior to every lift or movement of a load, so bolt type shackles are excellent choices for semi-permanent or long-term installations or where the load may slide on the shackle pin causing it to rotate. Round Pin Shackles Round pin shackles consist of a round unthreaded pin that is secured in place with a cotter pin. These perform well in applications where the pin may be subjected to torque or twisting. They're most popular in tie-down, towing, suspension, or applications where the load is strictly applied in line. A cotter pin is used to secure the shackle pin in place. However, Round pin shackles are not recommended for overhead lifting applications. Round pin shackles shouldn't be used as a collector ring in rigging applications where multiple sling legs are present, or where side loading may occur. Specialty types of shackles 1. Synthetic sling shackles 2. Wide body shackles 3. Long reach shackles 4. Stainless steel shackles 5. Sheet pile shackles Anchor shackles and chain shackles can be used for a number of different applications and in conjunction with different types of slings, chain, or ropes. However, some applications or rigging configurations require a more specialized shackle. Synthetic Sling Shackles On a synthetic sling shackle, the bow of the shackle is widened to increase synthetic web sling or synthetic round sling efficiency. This design allows for 100% of the sling's WLL to be achieved by preventing the slings from pinching or bunching, which can damage the slings or reduce their rated capacity. Synthetic sling shackles are available in screw pin or bolt type design. Wide body shackles. Used in conjunction with high capacity synthetic web slings, synthetic round sling, or wire rope slings. When using a shackle with wire rope, the shackle must be equal or greater than the wire rope diameter. The increased radius of the shackle bow provides an increase in surface area for a better DD ratio, improves service life of the sling, eliminates need for a thimble eye, prevents kinking and bunching of the sling around the bow. Long reach shackles. These long reach shackles are ideal for use in construction applications where a longer reach is needed to attach to pick points. They can also be used as a bale for lifting thicker products. Stainless steel shackles. Stainless steel shackles provide the greatest corrosion resistance and are ideal for marine applications. Varying grades of stainless steel can be used to protect the shackle against salt water or chemical environments. Sheet Pile Shackles Just what their name implies, they're designed specifically for pulling sheet piling. These types of shackles are equipped with an easy opening pin that will not detach and become lost. Shackle Material 1 Carbon Steel Shackles Design Factor of 6 to 1 more ductile than alloy. Available in round pin, screw pin, bolt type. Two alloy steel shackles. Design factor of 5 to 1. Stronger than carbon steel. Can achieve an equivalent WLL as carbon shackles in a smaller product design. Available in round pin, screw pin, bolt type. Galvanized shackles. The galvanization process adds a thin layer of zinc oxide to protect against rust and corrosion. Galvanized shackles can be used in industrial applications where moisture isn't a primary concern, but where the shackles still need to be protected against elements that may cause accelerated corrosion or deterioration to the product. Stainless steel shackles Stainless steel shackles provide the greatest corrosion resistance and are ideal for marine applications. Varying grades of stainless steel can be used to protect the shackle against salt water or chemical environments. Shackles made from stainless steel are typically more expensive than galvanized shackles. Considerations when side loading shackles Some types of shackles are engineered to handle some form of side loading. For these types of shackles, there will be a reduction to the working load limit as specified by the manufacturer. Chain shackles are not recommended for side loading as it could permanently twist or deform the bow of the shackle. OAD reductions will occur when side loading angle deviates from inline, 0 degrees. When using a shackle with multiple sling legs, the sling legs should rest against the body of the shackle, not the pin. 
If multiple sling legs are present in the body, they should not exceed 120 degrees in angle. The angle of loading affects the stress in the shackle, so as the horizontal angle decreases, the stress increases in the shackle. Important things to select shackles When it comes down to it, the most important part of determining what type of shackle to use is to have a complete understanding of 1. The total weight of the load 2. The type of slings being used 3. The type of sling HS being used for the angle of the slings. From those determine the best type of shackles to use for application. This will ensure that the design of the shackle and its working load limit is adequate for the lifts will be performing.